Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. As you can see, got a couple of days growth here since the last, or since my last shave, which was the last video I posted. And as promised, I'm going to be going ahead and you know, using something that came out of a casino. Um, for those of you who have not seen the last video, oh, real quick, a quick bit of housekeeping to do. If you are into, you know, small brewery or craft beers, uh, or whatever other names that type of beer might have, um, you might want to check out Nick Searle's new channel, which he subscribed to me. Give me one more subscriber. Subscribe with that channel. But it is all Hell the ale. Um, ale, such as, you know, like, you know, the beverage ale. Anyways, um, so yeah, go ahead and do a search. If you're into to craft beers, small brewery beers, whatever, um, micro brews, whatever, um, check his channel out. I haven't had a chance to check it out much. Nick, I will subscribe. Um, the video or two that I did see, I liked them, you know, I do want to get more into uh, custom beers when I do have beer, or craft beers, because, well, let's be honest, um, pretty much if you've drank one domestic lager, you've drank them all, um, if you drink one, one European import from a big brewery, you've drank them all, don't get me wrong, they're good, um, but, you know, now and then I want to change, so I'm going to kind of be checking out craft beers, microbrews, whatever you want to call them, um, which they're a little difficult to come by in the town I live in. Um, we do have not far from here a place called the Beer Bank. I mean, kid you not, it's called the Beer Bank, so I'm going to check it out and see what it's all about. Um, from what I understand, they have a pretty good selection of beers there. So, anyways, um, so yeah, welcome Nick to the channel. Um, thanks for giving me another subscriber, man. Um, hope all of you over there in the UK are doing well. Anyways, so, like I said in the last video, I was going to be using something that, well, to be quite honest, it's the type of shave that I haven't done since 2014. I'm going to be using this. This is the Molten Brown London set it's basically one of those little sets that you find in a casino room my our friend um, my girlfriend's best friend um, they practically grew up together you know uh, met at a young age grew up pretty much together um, and they're pretty much inseparable friends uh, and they're like sisters and her husband is a professional gambler and he gambles at the casino in southern down uh, towards San Diego called Pachanga. And sometimes he has to stay there because he'll go away for, you know, he'll go off for two, three days gambling and he makes pretty decent living at it. Um, but he brought these, a couple of these little sets from the room. So he gave me and my girlfriend each one. So if you haven't seen it, you get in it. One razor, which is made by Schick, and it is one of these types of disposables. And you get a little tube of shave cream. Let's see how it smells. Not a bad scent. Hmm. Anyways, my girlfriend ran me the instructions, and it basically says you get your face wet. Put some in your hand, massage it into your beard. So that's what we're going to do. And we're just going to go ahead and see how that is, you know, and see um, what it feels like to go ahead and shave my face with a disposable or cartridge style razor with a pivot um, after a little more than four years of DE and SE shaving. So, anyways. go. Get a drink of water here. Now 
I was kind of going to see if, um, you know, if I've been hornswoggled. so to speak. Over the years, with hmm. 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 Kind of an odd scent. I'm also going to shave my hand to head with this stuff, so. Not a lot of, gosh, not a lot of stuff in there. Um, I may have to go ahead and, yeah, they don't give you much soap, so to speak. this too but we'll see how it works I'll just I'll just pretend like I'm on the road and I'm a weary traveler that's done forgot his dot bag now I do know about these disposables because when I did shave, I believe they're three three blades. Um, yeah. When I did shave with disposables. This brand of disposable, these shake disposables, um, quite a lot. I'm probably, more than likely, going to need to get myself another um, go get my tube, one of my brushless creams. I don't have too many. Oh, I got, well, I got the Cremo. I got the Takata. So. I'm not pressing. Like, uh, I used to. Because. That will give me, what do you call it, irritation, and uh, I don't want irritation. Um, I'll admit, I'm already missing the brush, you know, I'm doing a brush, and so working up a nice lather on my face so so let's see if we can get one more yeah one more pass or against the green pass out of this stuff Nope. Oh, man. Anyways, I will be back with one of my brushless creams in a minute. Um, 
I still got whiskers, quite a bit of whiskers. So, yeah, um, that sucked as far as the amount of stuff they gave. See you in a minute, guys. Okay, I got the Takata brushless cream. Yeah, there's quite a bit of whiskers left behind. So, um, the soap, the tube they gave you. Uh, this was a, what do you call it, a hotel at a whatever, casino or whatever. I'd just go ahead and I would just use some of their stuff that they include in the room. Because um, a lot of times they like to, uh, oh man, there's a lot left behind. Hey, uh. This stuff does have a good scent though. If you didn't see the video where I went ahead and kind of reviewed this, yeah, now I got razor burn setting in. Yeah, irritation starting to set in. Wow. Um, not looking good, not looking good for the molten brown London set. But, you know, hey. What do I know? I'm just some traveler that forgot his damn dot bag at home when he went out to sell full of brushes. Um, but, uh, not bad. This Takata shaving brushless cream is doing really good. So, yeah. Still picking up a lot of whiskers here going against the grain, guys. So, um, So far at this point in the shave, what's my best advice if you're traveling um, and you do, and you're not going by air where the security will say, no, 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 no. You can't take those blades in your carry on. You gotta check them, whatever. Um, or give you a crap about the soaps, whatever. Um, like I say, um, don't forget your dot bag. And that's my best advice. Okay, so that's the okay. That, let's see here. Just out of curiosity, let's see how quick that shape was. <sighs> Zero, 14, Col stop recording video. 14 Dungeon. minutes and something, and part of it I'm gonna edit out to get rid of the me stepping away from the camera. Oh, a little bit right there. Yeah, if this would have been a two pass with one of my DEs or SEs, yeah. Um, yeah. Three paths definitely would have took longer. But, I don't know. I would have enjoyed it more. I would have, to be honest. Um, okay. I believe I would have. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead. Mm, rinse off. Uh or cut away here, rinse off, and I'll be back, shave my head, and I'll be back for the post. See you in a minute. Well, guys, I'm not going to say it was an awesome shave. It was a shave. Oops, hang on, guys. It was a shave. Um, well, I do these kind of shaves more often. Probably not. 
Mm. I definitely, definitely miss my, or I definitely, definitely prefer my DEs and SEs. A uh, little, little, but the hair will pull back in. Definitely prefer my DEs and SEs. Um, definitely prefer using um, quality shave soap or shave cream or even a brushless cream. Um, but, you know, if I was traveling, I would definitely go ahead and I could get by one pass. If I had that said again, one pass. Yeah, um, I would say if you're in a hotel room and you see a little set like that, just throw it in your bag and just keep it in your den for traveling or just for in a pinch. That's what I would recommend. Anyways, so luckily for me, a wayward traveler left behind some quality poche products. Um, the razor was a chic disposable. Um, decent, decent disposable. A pretty good head shaver. I'll say that. Um, really good head shaver. Um, an okay face shaver. Can't complain. Definitely can't complain. The brushless cream or whatever in the hell that stuff was um, sucked. Uh, it didn't give enough. I mean, at first, yeah, it helped the razor glide long, but you know, I start feeling the irritation really, really quick. Um, so yeah. And the tube just had enough for that first pass. But luckily, I'm not on the road. So, I got some good quality products here to come to the rescue. Nivea Aftershave Balm. But yeah, if you know you get a chance to check out Nick's channel, All Hell the Ale, um, where he taste test and talks about beers. Uh, interesting, interesting channel. And luckily for me, the Wayward Traveler also left behind their skin bracer by Minin. skin bracer stuff it's one aftershave that you know will stay in the den as long as they keep making it I like the scent it's got that burn, and it's got that nice cool down. So, anyways, that's the shave. Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope y'all take it easy. And I'll see you all. 
again soon. Anyways, bye-bye for now. I uh, shall see all of you on the flip side of the blade.